Denver. This is Robbie. How can I help you? Hey, Robbie. How's it going? This is Brendan. I'm here with my friend Nick. How you doing, Robbie? Good. How are you? We're doing great. Um, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Do you, um, Nick and I here, we called you a while back to ask you if you knew who Jason Siegel is. You remember that? Okay. Do you remember that? Vaguely. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Can I ask why you're calling? Well, we were just kind of taking a survey to find out who, how many people know who Jason Siegel is. Okay. Um, you can decline to answer if you want. Okay. Uh, do you have, well, we have, we have a, um, we have something that might be good that you might be excited about. Are you, would you be interested in owning a waterbed free of charge? Hello. Owning a water what? Waterbed? Waterbed. Oh, a waterbed? No, I'm not. You really? Free, we'll have it delivered to you for free. Free waterbed. No. Thank you, though. Robbie, do you know anything about flotation? Yes. You do? Um, can I ask what the nature of your call is? Well, mainly... I mean, we, we wanted to know if you knew who Jason Siegel was, and we also... Okay. We want um, to know if you want a waterbed. Can I not call back here, please? Um, you can. Okay, that'd uh, yeah, be we, awesome. That would hurt our feelings. Yeah, I don't understand... Robbie's such a fucking asshole. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? We know who he is. And we want to give you a little quiz. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Well, there you have it. That was unexpected. We- <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and folks, just so you know, listeners at home, uh, that was not planned. We just called. We decided to call Ro- try to call Robbie, and he answered the fucking phone. And uh, <laughs> man, he was like oh all robbied God. out this morning. I was so nervous. The second that it said Robbie. Yeah. I... This is Robbie. And he was more, he had less attitude when he answered the phone. He definitely started out nice. Yeah. What the fuck's his problem? Can I ask you not to call here anymore? Should we find, let's find a business near where Robbie works. Yeah, because he's in a mall, right? So what we need. He's kind of, I know where it's at. It's not. We need a layout of of the buildings and we also need to know what's next door. And we need to ask. We did ask one of his coworkers about him, right? We just asked if he was sassy. And, and she said like, yeah. yes. And you know what? I was listening to the last episode when we called uh, his place of business. And the girl we were talking to kind of had like the same drawl. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if it's just like a bunch of teenagers working together and they just kind of start picking up on like the strongest personalities traits see here's what i want to know is i want to know how robbie doesn't get his fucking ass kicked every day (laughs) i want to call him back and just say how do we start over i don't want to start start harassing him i don't want to harass him at all i just want to say hey listen we're actually the best thing that's ever happened to you yeah we are and you're literally closing the door to a free water bed he, We've got people emailing us, begging us to call you. Yeah. Well, but you see, here's. Well, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to podcast. get. Let, no, let's fine. Let's just get. Let's do a rap or something. Yeah. Um, that's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah. Uh, today we got Robbie on the phone. Hey, hey, we got Robbie on the phone. We asked him if he wanted a bet. He said, don't call me, drop dead. Uh, hello? Why? Why are you asking me that? Yo, I'm Robbie's brother. I can't stand up for him because he doesn't know who he is or how he acts. I'm kind of a freestyle type of dude. I don't rhyme. You don't have to rhyme. 
God, Robbie. Okay, I I, I take it back. Um, shouldn't call Robbie an asshole so much, but God, what a fucking little asshole. Should we call him one more time and just say, hey, man. I mean, Let's try what's, we're not going to get anywhere with him. He hung up on us. We know that he's working right now. Yeah. Let's call him. We could just call back and apologize, though. Yeah, that's all I want to do. Okay. Let's just call Robbie back, apologize, and then we'll never talk to Robbie again. Um, unless he wants to. Unless he wants to. Man, really sucks. I don't like him. I mean, he makes it hard. He makes it hard. And you know me. I like... You like everyone. Yeah. I'm a sucker. All ages and races. Hello? Robbie, we're sorry if we upset you. (laughs) Why do you keep calling is my only thing. I'm just like, I'm concerned as to the reason for your calling. It like freaks me out. I'm running a business. Like you guys just keep calling over and over and over again. We've only called three times. I'm sick of it. I know you're running a business. No, you have not called three times. You guys have called like five or eight times. (laughs) Five or eight. That's a huge... Listen, listen, listen. We're not trying to argue. We are legitimately trying to give you a free waterbed. I do not need a free waterbed. Thank you. And I also appreciate if you guys would stop calling this number. Robbie, that's fine. But I just want to end this the right way. Okay. Thank you. I would appreciate that. And, And I want you to say that we've only spoken one other time. Yeah. We haven't, though. Well, that's okay. We don't need to argue about how many times we've talked. Uh, we just were wanted to apologize. Sorry we have upset you so much. Uh, um, we, that wasn't our intention. And uh, Thank you. We, were, we would love to give you a waterbed. We legitimately would send you a free waterbed, but, uh, and there's no catch or twist to it or anything. I do not need a new bed. Okay. Uh, well, Thank uh you. I guess take care then, Robbie. We'll never call you again. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Robbie's really excitable. <laughs> the thing about <laughs> Robbie wants us to call him. Maybe we'll. He's check probably him gotten him. more attention around work. Saying every time he comes in, somebody called. They want to know if, when you're coming in. He probably has all kinds of guys calling him. Maybe we'll. Check in to wish him a happy new year. That'd but this nice. is the last time we'll talk to him in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I don't want to get into it like a full thing with uh, Max again, the guy who, uh, our listener in Chicago. Yeah. So maybe we should... Um, but Max is the one that wants to buy the bed for Robbie. Right. So that's, we should tell him it's a no-go or... You know who could use a water bed? Who? My uncle. The perm guy? Yeah. Do you think he wants one? I bet he would love a waterbed. Does he? Where does he live? San Diego? Yeah. We could do a show in San Diego. <clears throat> oh, wait. Excuse me. Um, we'd have to do it in Chicago, though. Yeah, the show's in Chicago, the waterbed. Well, let's... You know what? Because we have another offer. I think... Um, I like the idea of doing a live show in Chicago and like giving away the waterbed at the show. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that'd be more fun? Yeah. And then somebody else emailed us. Let me see if he, somebody else offered to buy a waterbed. Lives in Cincinnati. His name is Dave, he says. Hello? Hey, is this Cincinnati Dave? Hey. Hey, this is uh, Brendan and Nick. Uh, We do a uh, podcast called Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? And I just want to make a quick announcement. You're getting called. Yeah. By the staff yeah. of the Do You Know Who Jason Siegel is? The entire podcast. staff is calling you over the holiday season. Can you hear the oh, announcement shit, trumpet? Are, yeah. No, I cannot. Oh, you can't. See, that's weird. That explains a lot if nobody's ever heard that. <laughs> yeah. We've been talking. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Hold on. Let me try it again. How about there? No, nothing. Hmm. I want to see, well, I think the ice cream truck's about to to fly by. I wonder if that... No, let's not get involved. I don't think they come by yet. Let's call. (laughs) We're calling Dave um, because you emailed us. Yeah. And you said that... Yeah, I emailed you. You're willing to buy a waterbed or two? Well, yeah, I think so. I I bought like some Bitcoin, you know? Yeah. 
you know, that's all that's turned out to be pretty good these days. It is. Are you, are you being honest with us or is this, are you doing a bit? Huh? Are you being honest? You honestly bought a bunch of Bitcoin and, um, well, yes, I bought some Bitcoin, not as many as I used to have. I would be a Bitcoin million, an actual millionaire. That sucks. Doesn't it? I'm just, I would have bailed. Huh? I would have sold off all my Bitcoin once it hit like 500 bucks. And uh, I, yeah, would, it, I would be hanging from a tree right now. It was just a big bubble, like at a thousand several years ago. But I don't know. I just yeah. wanted it. I just used it to buy stuff on the Silk Road. That's all I cared about. So. <laughs> um, well, let's let's get into this. We just called. Uh, we just talked to Robbie. I, I don't know if you are familiar with Robbie from the podcast. I didn't. Yeah, I, I've listened to every episode, and I okay. still don't know who he is. <laughs> you don't know who Robbie is? Hi. I don't. I don't get it. Where Where did he come in? He just, he's someone we called and he had a really shitty attitude. Um, And we just talked. Oh, yeah. He just asked us not to call him. Yeah, so we're done calling him. That's right. But do you have, do you want to buy a waterbed for yourself or um, someone Um, else? Because we're more than happy to come to Cincinnati. I like that chili. I like that Cincinnati. Oh, the spaghetti chili chili situation. Yeah, Yeah, but it's, it's actually really bad. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, nobody. Do you, don't you like don't you like chili that's like hearty and like beans and shit? And have spaghetti separately with when you're having spaghetti. <laughs> well, no, I mean like a, the the Cincinnati chili is like this diarrhea saucy stuff. Like a yeah. real chili is like meatier, you know. Beans Maybe I stuff. like that Cincinnati hash. They do that. Um, oh yeah, the um, the getta. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it's like sausage uh, sausage oatmeal. Mm-hmm. Well. Let's get um, let's get this going. Let's get a uh, let's get a well, water bed. I, yeah. So I uh, but I wanted to uh, maybe this is stupid, but I have yeah. one request. Yeah. I want to see if that guy, if he will um, if he will accept Bitcoin. Andy, oh boy, that's gonna that's be tough. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, he doesn't even know how to start a website. He doesn't know what a podcast is. Yeah. He doesn't know what it is. Well, I mean, it's not. He's not going to accept Bitcoin. That's going to be. That's going to be a problem. And yeah, is there? Is that a deal breaker or? Um, I mean, I really want him to accept Bitcoin because I'll send it. Because then I don't have to. Uh, then I don't have to pay taxes the same way. Here's what I'm curious: Are you a part of the Walsh Army or are you a Thunehead? <laughs> um, probably the Walsh Army. Like, because I feel like I was a. I was a big fan of the um, the old the last podcast, the uh, mm-hmm. Zone Zone, yeah. and so I feel like this this Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Podcast is a really logical step forward in Brendan's career. So, yeah. so I'm. <laughs> That's a, I think I'm it's for really it. smart for Brendan's career. Yeah, I mean it's it it it's fulfills a that a hole yeah. of silliness that I need in my life. Um, huh? I it, think there are. I think I think a majority of our fans are Walsh Army. I think Thuneheads are see. pretty few and far between. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I did have a podcast for six years, so that definitely does give me a uh, a leg up. In, right. in, in, the of podcast, already. and it's also not a competition. You know? It's not, but I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> the podcast realm is its own little like realm, and like Brendan's more in it. I think you don't have a podcast, Nick. Well, now you do. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Now, now I do. You're on it right now. I'm the CEO of this bitch. Yeah. Well, let's figure <laughs> out. Um, I don't, I mean, I just, I feel like Bitcoin is not going to, there's not going to be a direct way to, to buy a waterbed with Bitcoin from Andy. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to check with Andy and we'll get okay. back to you. We really want to come to Cincinnati. We like it. I've got a lot of Thune heads out there. I know that it's a good know. place to do a show. Thune heads. Um, yeah, Cincinnati's I, great. You can do it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. There's yeah, a rock out club there, there the I spring. really like. <laughs> we can do Go Bananas. We can do that rock club. Why don't you? Can yeah, you, I love go bananas. Can you do us a favor? Why don't you call Andy and ask him? Tell him that we sent you. We really want to buy a waterbed, and I'm sure you can. I'm sure he would want to yeah. sell a waterbed okay. enough <laughs> to where he can go and open whatever account that he'll need to do to open. And right. then, um, why don't you just email us? Let hey, us know how it goes. We're going to record another episode he, soon. Okay. Hey, what is his? Uh, what's his info? Or what's what? Did you did you give out his number? I'll give you his number right now. Um, it's called okay. Waterbeds Today. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, Waterbeds. Let me write this. Yeah. I honestly didn't even know the name of the company. Waterbeds Today. 
because wait, have we talked? Did um, <laughs> yeah, this is it. Uh, Waterbeds today. It says it's open. Yeah, Andy. Um, Andy is his name. Got um, it. And the phone number is eight six 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 four seven two seven three five. Got it. All right. Yeah, I'll call him. I'll call him today. I don't know. Yeah, give him a call. And, I do um, know. Where is wait? What state is he in? What he's in Tampa, it? Florida. But he can ship. He's he's he, oh, okay. He's he getting ships familiar anywhere with and shipping. It's free. Yeah. I think, 419 there. Okay. No, he's he's probably there. He's probably there. All right. Or I'll tell you Christmas. what. If you get him on the phone right now, give us a call back on this number because we're going to be recording okay. for another yeah, like, half see. hour or so. Right. Right. You got to banter. All right. Yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> Don't get on the inside <laughs> of what we do. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, okay, all right, bye. But this is exciting, Dave. Thank you. Thanks, we'll talk Dave. Talk to you soon. Yeah, no problem. All, all right, right, bye. See you, buddy. Uh, that That's a great, I think... Um, what a reason... We have the most reasonable fans. Yeah, we've everyone we've talked to is. Are you doing that specifically so to annoy me? Yeah. That's so disgusting. <laughs> um, I never... I didn't look right at them. It's like an eclipse. Uh just so everybody knows, I took my shoes yeah, off. Yeah, Nick had his disgusting feet up on the table. Uh, uh, here's what I want to do, though, is promote some things real quick. Okay. Let me um, get your music up here. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, settle into your pickup truck and put, on a, put a piece of hay in your mouth. Here's Nick Thune with some good old down-home country time. Promotions. <laughs> if you go to Nick Thune, I can't. You don't have to sing them. It's just yeah. background. Music. No, nickthune.com. We got some tour dates. Chicago, January 6th. Going from there to Denver. Going from Denver to Las Vegas with my good friend, Brendan Walsh. Oh, Las Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's on my brendanwalsh.com. The Las Vegas date is there as well. It's also on nickthune.com. The 30th. It Those are the two websites of this podcast, nickthune.com, brennanwalsh.com. We'll get a we'll get a website for this specifically soon. That's um, really all I have to promote. When you're in Denver, you can meet Robbie. Are you doing a downtown club? Yeah. It's really close to the downtown club where he works. <laughs> oh, um Okay, so that's I it. almost yeah. don't want to meet him without you. When's your date in Denver? Let's call him back. Let's, uh, no, no. We'll wait until after the new year. Let's just change that bitch to a co headline. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Let's see. Oregon. <laughs> As he gags down a. It's Christmas time. <clears throat> I'm so like, uh, it's so dry out. Yeah. They were saying on the news that like the humidity is like 5%, which is like crazy. Really? Yeah, that's why everybody's all dried out. Let's call. Is there like a lotion store in Oregon we can call? There we go. All right. My Oregon. family lived down there for a bit. Uh, I spent a, I spent about six months in Eugene when I was like nineteen. Uh, stayed with my fucking hippie friend out there. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful, man. That was the first time I had never seen so many stars at night. That blew my mind, man. I never saw that many stars in my life. You could see fucking satellites. Blew my fucking mind, man. Blew my goddamn mind. All right, we're going to call and see if we can get some lotion. This is Hunter. Hey, uh, Hunter? Yeah. God, that's a cool name. This is Nick. I'm here with my friend Brendan. Um, Brendan Nick. Walsh. Okay. Um, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, lotion. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of lotion. Do you know what kind you're looking for or a certain scent? Well, I mean, what we're dealing with is the humidity right now. It's, you know, I'm sure you've heard it's below 5%. In California. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know who Jason Siegel is? Jason Siegel. I'm, I'm not sure who that is. No. You never heard that name? Uh, -uh. Hmm. Huh. Well, we're dealing with some extra dry skin and, uh, I don't know what, like, we're both men, so we don't want anything too fruity. Right. Um, I would recommend our jojoba cream. It's really great for just 
moisturizing it's made out of. Um, it has vitamin A, D, and E, and provides maximum skin protection. So it's going to mm. soothe and dry damaged skin. And it has, like, almost no scent. It's not fruity at all. That would be my recommendation for that. What was what was it called again? It's called jojoba cream. Hobo cream? Jojoba cream. Oh, ho- oh like jojoba. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Gotcha. Uh, and that's good for face, hands... Yeah, that's really good for your hands um, and face too. But I could look in. That would be good for your face as well. What, what do you? I mean, what's the difference between a face and a hand lotion? Because that's a really fantastic question. Um, I'm gonna pass the phone off to Eva. She owns great. the store. That's oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, he's looking for um, a face and hand. Cream. He lives in California. Mm-hmm. It's really dry right now. Um, he doesn't. Spend. I recommended a hobo cream because you know the difference between face and hand. I wasn't sure the difference. Yeah, okay. A face cream would be lighter this, in I'm sorry, feel. is this Eva? A hand cream would be heavier. This And this is don't. Eva? Yes, it is. Hey, how you doing? It's Nick and Brendan. Oh, uh uh-huh. Oh, hi. Uh, do you know who Jason Siegel is? I do, yes, uh-huh. Oh, you know who he is, the actor? Uh, no, no, I don't know. No, wait. Jason, I'm thinking maybe it's another Jason. Jason... That went to uh, Spencer Butte that lived in Santa Monica for a while. Oh, no, oh. this is a uh, different Jason yeah, Siegel. different Jason. So oh. the if we, what are the risks, like, if we're at the hotel, mm-hmm. and you know how, like, hotels have, like, a little thing of lotion in the bathroom? And generally yes, it's uh-huh. body lotion. If I put that on my and face, what am I asking? Am I asking for trouble? Can you put trouble? body lotion on your face? I mean, is that bad? Well, those are usually pretty highly scented. So. Yeah. They're probably, you know, not a not a bad product, but it's uh, probably pretty highly scented. My ex-wife had melon scented lotion that I really liked. Had a honey? It was it a honeydew melon or a cocoa mango? It was, it was a cocoa mango. No, okay. no, it was honeydew. It, it was, was a melon. Yeah, it was melon. Oh. But the okay. interesting thing, it didn't taste like melon. Oh, interesting. Well, we don't have that one any longer, so. I can't reference that one, unfortunately. But if I got the jojoba cream, would that yes, taste it, like jojoba? Yes. Um, now, let's see. The jojoba cream is unlike any other cream that we have here at the store. Okay. So I, and I don't know what the cream was that um, your wife would have had with the honeydew melon. Is that was excellent. a long time ago. So I, I can't compare those two. Yeah. In, mem- in my memory, you know, so I can't, I can't say yes or no on that one without knowing more specifically what the honeydew melon cream uh, was called. She used or, to give me know, a. Name. She used to give me something I would call the honeydew list, where she'd be like, "Honey, do this." Oh yes, honey, of do course. That. Ever hear that? <laughs> um, oh yes. Well, we're divorced now, anyway, and uh, she's uh, not a good person. I'll be we honest keep in with touch. you. She she's... lives in Las Vegas, and. Um, She's like a party girl. It's not the environment that I want my son to be raised in, but we'll let the courts mm-hmm. f- decide, figure all that yeah, out. Yeah, that's a hard thing, isn't it? <laughs> well, thanks, yeah. Eva. We'll stop in while we're here on our business trip, and we'll just, uh, just rub some lotions and figure We'll just okay. figure out what Are lotions we Are you coming in, th- in soon? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Okay. All right. Sounds good. We'll be here. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Love you. Love you too, but <laughs> I hung up on her by accident. She, she's great. That could be one of the best people we've ever talked to. Eva's about. great. Um, that was Hitler's wife's name too. No offense. No. To none taken. Named Eva. Did you hear that? Oh, what outside? Yeah. Hello. Oh shit. He's right outside. Oh, he just clocked in. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah, get yeah, him! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, stop! Wait, he stopped. Oh, he's starting again. Yeah. No, no, he's doing his techno thing. He's never going to stop. I think this guy, I was asking around the it's neighborhood the, about, yeah. about him. And he's just like a rich guy who doesn't, he doesn't need to sell ice cream. He just gets off on like... Oh, really? Yeah. But yeah, I guess you get a... Like, the clothes, I've never seen a guy dressed that nicely driving an ice cream truck. It's like a tax write-off thing. Like huh. he, yeah, he can like write off 
I don't know what it is, but it's something he has uh-huh. to drive it for like an hour a day to get certain kind of like tax breaks. I mean, I get it, you know, you, with the tax cuts that they're doing right now. and Yeah, all those tax cuts, man. Uh, let's call a trophy store in Oregon. I feel like we had a good success with that uh, guy tweeted at me. The trophy guy? Yeah, that's what I, I tagged you in the tweet. And you go, wait, what's this? I didn't you don't remember that. The guy tweeted at me because, uh, he, you know, you told him who I was and not the not the bad. Oh, trophy guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. I didn't. Um, I think I didn't just understand like the wording of the tweet was confusing. I didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, I got to go through some papers. Are the papers in your pubes? Okay, this place has a cool name. Call Sassy's. <laughs> Sassy's? What is that? Strip club. Oh, in Portland? Mm-hmm. Okay. Portland has a lot of strip clubs. Portland's in Oregon. Let's, let's run down. We'll just call some strip clubs purely yeah. to ask who Jason Siegel is. That's We're it. not going to get into any boob talk. Nothing. No kind of like I don't want like to talk about boobs. Sex. I don't want to talk about butts. No boobs, no butts. So let's... No, no PJ stuff. Strip bars. Portland, Oregon strip bars. So I'm just going to go down the yep. list. And there's quite a bit of them. And uh, This is actually a good, I think, uh, a good audience for us to check with. Um, and I think Jason... This will be a good way to get Jason's numbers up too, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, this one's open. Oh, this is like a f- popular one. Um, I hope somebody somewhere is keeping track. They are. On the Reddit thing, somebody started a spreadsheet. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, guys, go. Here's a couple things you can do. Uh, rate and review on iTunes. You can buy helps. all of the things I've ever made. You can buy my albums. And also the Reddit page. You can go, there's a yeah. Do You Know Who Jason Siegel is. You could is, also just a, directly so. Venmo me money. Well, this isn't, this, we can, uh, we do have to get, in the new year, we'll figure out how to monetize this bitch. <laughs> Club? Hey, how's it going? This is Brendan. I'm here with my friend Nick. How you doing? Good. Are you guys, do you know who Jason Siegel is? Uh, I do not. You never heard that name? It's, it's not it somebody. Sound, it sounds familiar, but. Jason Siegel? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to maybe come in with him today, but you guys are open. You're open from now until like 2 a.m. Yes. Is yes. anybody else there that we could ask if they know who Jason Siegel is? Um, I'm the only bartender here. Okay. Do right you know- now at six, at six thirty, Tracy will be here and, um, she may be familiar with who he is. Do you know who Nick Thune is? T-H-U-N-E, Nick Thune? Um, no, I do not. I'm better with faces than names. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's, that's fine. Well, uh, maybe we'll see you later. Thank okay, you. sounds great. All Alrighty. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. Are they totally naked in... They are, aren't they? Yeah. In Portland. Mm-hmm. Sure. I've been to Portland a bunch of times and I've never gone to a strip club there. I'm not a strip club guy. Me neither. I'm not, I'm a boob and a butt guy. I mean, I like, yeah, I like it all. Hey, man, uh, how's it going? This is a uh, gentleman's club or a strip bar or whatever? Yeah, it's a strip club. Okay. I'm here. This is Brendan. I'm here with my friend Nick. How you doing? Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Like the actor? Yes, exactly. That's yeah. that's exactly uh, who we're asking. About. Yeah, yeah, I know who you... Yeah, why, I, where are we going? Where are we going with this? Uh, we just wanted to know if you knew who he was. Yeah. We're not going to get into any boob or butt talk. Just uh, Yeah, I've seen him in a movie or, you know, what? Yep. He's slap of the bass, right? Slap yep. of the bass. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. Thanks Thank a lot, you, sir. Man. Appreciate it. That's it? Yep, that's that's it. it. Yep. Okay. Take care. <laughs> what the fuck? A lot of these places open early. Yeah. Who's going to a strip club at 11 a.m.? And what is the caliber of stripper you're getting at 11 a.m. on a Monday <laughs> not exactly prime real estate they're not starting the a team out see that's sad. like what am I being I'm being like a man I'm yeah, being one of those no, you're uh, being a douchebag I'm no better than Harvey Weinstein right now let me deal with this one okay this one's been open since 10 30 a.m. that might be fun to do 
to go to strip clubs at 10 in the morning on a Monday. Why not? You probably get a lot of work done. <laughs> oh, let's ask if they have Wi Fi. Hello? Hey, how you doing? This is Nick. I'm here with uh, my business partner, Brendan. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, we were just wondering, and this is honestly boobs and butts aside, what's the Wi-Fi password? Do you guys have Wi-Fi? Um, I know probably um, through the neighborhood. Oh, gotcha. right. Okay. Because I, I know people come in here and work on their computers. I see them do it all the time. Yeah, we had to get some work done. We also, do you know who Jason Siegel is? I do not. Interesting. Never heard that name? Uh, Jason Siegel? What's yeah. that song playing back there? Is oh. that. Uh, oh, oh, isn't he like an actor? Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes. Hi, That's sorry. Great. I'm a dummy. Is that, the <laughs> pix- is that the Pixies in the background? Is that what? The Pixies? The song uh-uh. playing? Oh yes, it is. It is. Yeah, that's is somebody. So funny. How do you hear that? <laughs> is somebody dancing to this? Yes, yes, Ivy is. Ivy. Yes. Is there any chance we could talk to Ivy? We just want to know if she knows who, who Jason Siegel is. She's on the stage. I can't. <laughs> is anybody else there that we can ask you if they know who Jason Siegel is? You guys know who Jason Siegel is? Yeah. I got two yeses. That's okay. beautiful. Great. Thank you. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. right. Bye. Love you. Thank you. See ya. (laughs) Maybe this show should just be calling strip clubs because. Yeah. Okay. Some of the best people we've talked to. (laughs) Yeah, we can totally do that. Um, These people have great attitudes. All right. Another strip club. Portland, Oregon. And then what would be something good to balance out a strip club? Some place. Rehab, like a rehab cl- center? Or like a clothing yeah. store. This is Katie. Hey, hey Katie. Katie. Uh, this is Nick. I'm here with my friend Brendan. Brendan Walsh. How's it going? Hi. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Um, yeah. The actor? Yeah. Nice. That's great. Hey, can I help you? Um, How many girls are working today? Right now we have three. And at uh, four o'clock, we'll have four more in for an hour. Okay. Have you ever heard of... four to five. Have you ever heard of Nick Thune? T-H-U-N-E? No. I don't know. Possibly, but no. Why? That's okay. We're just curious. Um, We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Love you. Bye. Again... You know, very nice. And we're really increasing the, uh, again, not that we're trying to rig anything. In his no, but we like, we like Jason. We, we like Jason him. Siegel. We want people to know who he is. And it, yeah, this another one opens at 1030. Crazy. Five. Hey, man, how's it going? Do you know who Jason Siegel is? What's that? Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Jason the Eagle? Jason, Jason Siegel. Siegel. Hang on one second, I can't hear you. Okay. Probably want to get to a better spot. Oh, Put I love that song. One finger in your Is ear. that Beyonce? Okay, say that again. Is that Beyonce in the background? What's that? Was that Beyonce playing? I can't understand you. Are you do you know who Jason Siegel is? Jason Siegel? Yeah. Doesn't sound familiar. Okay. Who's the prettiest stripper working there right now? All of them. Okay, All four good. of them. We're not basing this on boobs or butts. We're what? We're not talking about boobs or butts here. We're just wanting to know, like, personality-wise. Oh, well, they're, they're all really friendly. Are any of them uh, Trump supporters? I have no idea. Okay. I'll come in. We'll find out about their politics. Thanks, man. Uh, okay. Ay ay ay. Let's see here. There's a lot. I Can mean, we're imagine? really uh, that's <laughs> we're staunch conservatives. Maybe that's our angle for these last handful. Um <laughs> we we just Listen, we don't want any horny, li- but we want Yeah. Some. I don't want any lib- liberal strippers. We're very we're here on business. We're really we're right-wing 
Okay. <laughs> All right, this one. Ugh, 11 a.m. Baby. You know what? If you like strip clubs, move to Portland. I mean, you're going to have to have like a trust fund account or something, though. All right, a couple questions here. Toots. I'm not going to talk to her like Don't that. Don't say toots. I'm not going to do it. That's the kind of stuff my aunt hears. And then. Oh, yeah. How can I help you? Hey, how's it going? This is Brendan. I'm here with my business partner, Nick. How you doing? Uh-huh. Um, doing good. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? I don't, actually. Never heard that name? No, I have not. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty new here, so I don't know if I'm the best person. You wouldn't know him from there. Yeah. You would just know okay. him from maybe just knowing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not ringing a bell. Okay. okay. Um, what are the, Nick and I are here on business and, uh-huh. uh, we wanted to come in, but we were looking for, do you know what the politics of the dancers are? Are there any, um, are they all liberal leaning or left wing, right wing? Uh, well, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, well, we're big time there's, Trump heads. There's a very diverse, there's like, you know, all different spectrums. We're big time Trump supporters. And we were hoping to get some like more right wing leaning dancers. Okay. Dance for us. Uh, you know, I'm I'm honestly like not sure how to respond to the question because I don't really know for. Yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. Is yeah, anybody that is anybody else there that we could talk to? Yeah, give me a moment, okay? I'm just gonna put you on a hold. Thanks. Thank you. Give me a second, okay? All right, thanks, mate. Interesting. Oh, somebody's calling us back. Oh, this is I'm the guy. getting a call from Cincinnati. Hello? Hey, yeah. David, we saw that you called. We were talking to a strip club in Portland. Um, uh huh. So we couldn't. Uh, oh, it's an organ episode. <laughs> it is. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Are you a detective? Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, I talked, to, uh, I talked to Andy. He said, uh, yeah, he said he's heard of Bitcoin. He said, it, I'm not the first person to call and ask about accepting Bitcoin. Okay. <laughs> Recently. So maybe that's you guys. He said he's going to look into it, though. I, I wouldn't great. bet on it, but he said he's going to look into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, he's the type of guy that will research something. Yeah. You oh, know what? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try something here, too. Okay, well, that's great. I'm glad that you talked to him, and uh, we'll get this taken care of. I guess probably not until the early in the new year. Um, yeah. But uh, Yeah, whatever. And was did he sound excited? <laughs> did he sound excited uh, to to hear from you? No, Are you? He's, he's just monotone. Whatever. Okay. He's just monotone. All right. Yeah. He's well, he's so well, monotone. That's later. totally Andy. Uh. Okay. <laughs> totally well, Andy. Thanks a lot. Um. We'll talk yeah, to you man. soon. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. See you later. See you, buddy. Bye. Love you. Is he mad at us? You seem mad. <laughs> um, you know what? There is somebody. Let's just try this. And then if, uh, I mean, should we call Andy? I'm going to call this strip club. This is the last strip club we're calling. But I think we're getting uh, getting our numbers up there. Mm-hmm. It's good. This is Gerard. Hey, Gerard. This is Nick. I'm here with my business partner, Brendan Walsh. What up? What up? Yeah. You sound like you're having fun. Uh, I'm always having fun. I'm we, at a strip club. Yeah. We were just wondering, do you know who Jason Siegel is? Uh, yeah, I do. That's great. The actor? Yes, I do. Wow. That's awesome. And we're not, you know, we're not calling to talk about boobs or butts. I can, you know it's loud in here, so I can. I, you're going to have to make this quicker and faster. No, that's Sorry, okay, no, no, dude. No. We're going to come in, me and Nick. And uh, we're going to check out... Uh, what Do you know the strippers' politics there? Are there any right-wing strippers? Because we're both big Trump supporters. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Then we'll just get some lap dances from a right-wing stripper. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? Where are you guys calling from? A fucking Batcave? Yeah. I'm Batman. You? This is Robin. I'm Robin. That's Batman. Really? Dude, you're... <laughs> Batman, your last movie is horrible. horrible. That's insulting. Did, did, you, did you watch that thing? Well, well I was have in it. Your, have you seen your new movie yet? It, yeah, I saw it while we filmed it. Oh, we my know God. Who he is. Oh. Benny, Benny, and we want to give you 